Bell Bottom starts off in the year 1984 with the hijacking of an Indian Airlines flight by some terrorists from Punjab. A voiceover informs us that such hijackings have been the norm since 1978 and we are then ushered into a high-level meeting between the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and her core cabinet ministers to discuss their next move. Research and analysis wing chief Santook played by Adil Hussain informs the prime minister that one of his agents who goes by the code name Bell Bottom has all the information regarding hijackings and has been studying them for the past 2 years. We then get to see a grand entrance from Akshay Kumar who plays agent Bell Bottom and from that point onwards a cat and mouse game ensues between Raw led by Bell Bottom and the Pakistani ISI which controls the terrorists. Before we go ahead just a reminder for everyone If you've not subscribed to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon for weekly Bollywood related content. There are similarities between Bell Bottom and Akshay Kumar's previous films like Baby and Airlift. At least the film's trailer seem to have given that why, but the similarities are superficial. Bell Bottom is inspired by real events. An Indian Airlines flight IC421 was indeed hijacked in 1984. and the plane did change its course to Lahore before ultimately landing in Dubai. Speaking of Bollywood films, there aren't that many Bollywood films based on plane hijackings. Apart from Neeja and Rohit Shetty's first film Zameen, the list comprises of C great films not even worth a mention. It's a relatively untouched topic when it comes to Bollywood films. But make no mistake, Bell Bottom is a quintessential Bollywood masala movie. Let me qualify it further. It's Masala 2.0 in the sense that everything's polished and an upgrade from the bad masala films that ruined the genre from the 80s onwards. But at its core, it remains a film that utilizes all the broad masala brushstrokes that were present in the good masala films of the 70s. Take for example, the mother-son bond, a staple in the masala genre. In Bell Bottom, this is depicted in a fresh and unique way. and it also sets up the personal equation that makes Akshay Kumar a driven raw agent the rousing background score also reminds us of the score in masala classics like don it adds to the film's atmosphere without being loud and overbearing to be extra precise bell bottom is a thriller masala film and there are certain genre conventions that the film adheres to there is a master villain who commits a crime in this case a hijacking There is a clear point of no return moment when the protagonist knows he can never go back to the way things used to be. In Bell Bottom, this moment is represented by Akshay Kumar's mother's death at the hands of the same terrorist who hijacks the plane. The core event of the thriller genre is the all is lost moment, which is when the hero is at the mercy of the villain and there is usually a false ending as well. After a scene that seems to mark that false ending, the hero rebounds to challenge the villain again bell bottom sticks to most of these genre conventions and does a good job in integrating these plot elements by creating a slick and lively atmosphere there is considerable attention given to small details and the threat of lives being in danger is immediate and palpable in short the world building in bell bottom is quite good and something that kept me engaged throughout as far as performances are concerned bell bottom as the name suggests is primarily a film that focuses on Akshay Kumar. Now I think Akshay Kumar is pretty good at comedy, but when it comes to serious dramas, he has always been a weak link. Unfortunately, Bell Bottom is no exception to the rule. I was most unimpressed by his dialogue delivery, which was completely flat and undermines the masala tone of the film. On the one hand, the film has a rousing background score, and on the other, there's a hero whose deadpan dialogue delivery negates the score's emotional build up the supporting cast fares much better though adil hussain is first rate as the raw chief santook his joke comparing raw to a canine daddy made me really laugh out loud dolly ahluwalia who plays akshay kumar's mother is also a stand out given that she had only a handful of scenes to leave her mark lara tatta unrecognizable under heavy makeup plays Indira Gandhi with quiet dignity and respect. Zain Khan Durrani, who plays the chief villain Daljeet Singh Dodi, is suitably menacing and creepy. 
The film's crisp pace and short running time mean there's very little to do for the remaining characters, Vani Kapoor and Uma Qureshi. I should compliment the director Ranjit M Tiwari for making a fact-based, fast-paced thriller that stays rooted in its masala core for the most part. The film's ending could have been better as it probably doesn't impart full justice to its incredible build-up, but that's still a relatively minor complaint. What I also like about Bell Bottom is that it's more of an intellectual thriller instead of going down the easy route of non-stop action. The majority of the film is a tactical exercise between espionage masterminds from India and Pakistan. Plans are made on the fly and when they fail there's always a backup. It's a refreshing change in terms of screen writing and writers Asim Arora and Parvez Sheikh deserve full credit for that. I also like the music of the film which is mostly in Punjabi and adds to the authenticity of its main characters. The songs Marjawa and Sakhiya are definitely worth a listen. My concluding thoughts on Bell Bottom are that it's a solid masala film that's engaging and entertaining for the most part. Despite being low on the action quotient, it finds its thrills in a tactical game of cat and mouse that seems real and rooted. There is no jingoistic messaging, no chest thumping monologues to cheapen its build up, and its atmosphere and the world building are worthy of high praise. The film lacks a satisfying coda, and that's partly because the film tries to be as realistic as possible. The lead actor is unfortunately a letdown, especially in terms of his dialogue delivery, which could have elevated the film to a higher level, and that's really my main complaint about the film. Bell Bottom like the style statement from the 70s and early 80s is a slick genre film that's well worth a watch i am going to go with 3.5 stars out of 5 for bell bottom so that's a wrap guys and i hope you enjoyed listening to my review of bell bottom i'm sure some of you will have your disagreements with me as well let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on the movie if you think this review was helpful please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified for future reviews finally If you did like my video please do smash the like button see you guys in the next one